What is up guys, The LA Gamer here, and today I am bringing you guys episode 31 of my Madden 16 Seahawks Fantasy Draft Connected Franchise Mode. In today's episode, we will be playing our first playoff game of the year against the Detroit Lions. Now, this is actually going to be the divisional playoff game because we performed well enough in the regular season to actually get a bye week on the wildcard game. We actually finished off 13-3, and which was good enough to finish off with a 7 game winning streak. So we were 6-3 and uh, at week 10, and now we finish off with a 7 game winning streak to actually... Uh, finish off 13 and 3 so we did a phenomenal job even with Jameis Winston coming out uh, due to an injury we still were completely fine with with Ryan Mallet coming in Ryan Mallet actually came in and has won his past three or four games ever since Jameis Winston has gone out so Mallet's doing a phenomenal job now if you guys read that title closely this is going to be a wild or not wild card but a divisional playoff blowout just look closely at the way this game is going to go I'm not even going to spoil it this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode just due to the fact that this game gets really out of hand really quickly so to start off we're gonna throw him over to the right side to Odell Beckham he barely beats out the first cornerback and the safety back there to actually get into the corner of the end zone and get a 43 yard touchdown shot the game you see they're actually at the 20 yard line it looks like they're gonna get something going but we're gonna strip the ball right here and Randy Gregory's gonna pick it up Randy Gregory being probably top three fastest defensive end in the league he is just flying down the sideline now another super fast defensive end look at Dante Fowler at the bottom of your screen just flying downfield to get another block and it doesn't really matter because we are actually going to take that one to the house. Randy Gregory's second huge fumble return touchdown in the past couple of games. And it's, Randy Gregory's just crazy fast. Now, um, we just have a phenomenal defense. They did a great job this game. You'll pay close attention to that. It's right here. We get a beautiful punt, punt return right here by Patrick Peterson. I really wanted to take that one to the house following that dirty spin move, but we just weren't able to do so. But yeah, I really, really was happy with our offense and defense this game. Now, Mallet. Mallet was throwing dots out here. Let's just be completely honest. When you're watching this game, you're going to see Mallet throw some beautiful passes. And I just don't understand what was getting into him this game. But he was just he was playing better than Jameis, to be completely honest. Now, um, I'm not going to jump too far into that belief. Because if we remember correctly, I believe it was two playoff seasons ago, we actually had Charlie Whitehurst come in in the divisional playoff game and actually throw a couple of nice balls uh, to, to some of our receivers. And it just didn't really kind of carry off through that. So um, hopefully Mallet can carry some consistency. Now, he is... He did throw for seven touchdowns, only one interception in his regular season performances when he had to come in for Jameis Winston. So I do see him as the type of guy who can be consistent to continue to give us some, some uh, playoff victories. And hopefully he can actually lead us to the Super Bowl and give us a Super Bowl win. It's right here. We're going to get a crazy running play by Jamal Charles. Jamal Charles is actually going to be another player that we're going to actually uh, need a lot out of just due to the fact because, I mean, if Jameis Winston or because Jameis Winston is going to be out for the rest of the season due to his terrible Achilles tear, we're going to have to rely on Ryan Mallett a lot. And... Um, that's not something I'm extremely comfortable with due to, due to the fact that we're not sure about his consistency. And because of that, we're actually going to have to rely on Jamal Charles a lot as well to just kind of contribute a lot in the running game. And hopefully he can do a good job there. Right here, we're going to look over and we're going to just kind of continue these short routes. Now, because Ryan Mellon's not the most trustworthy quarterback just yet, I'm still going to use him a little bit more. He was hitting all the throws this game though, but still, I didn't have a ton of trust in him just yet. That's right here, he's going to throw another dot over the middle. Two Ladarius Green's going to make a sick diving catch. And uh, we're going to continue to move down here, downfield here. This is going to be one of my favorite plays I do all year. Right here, we're going to do a little shovel pass to, J to uh, Jamal Charles. Hit the dirty juke move inside and get it down the right sideline. Now, although that was a dirty move, we do actually get tackled down to the one. They should have just let me got, get the touchdown because that was just an awesome play. And I wanted the touchdown so bad. And then either way, we're going to punch it home here with Christine Michael. To go up, I believe that's, what, 31-0. to zero. And that's not crazy enough. Look, there's 13 seconds left in the half. Look closely at Kevin White over on the left side of your screen. He's going to break inside, cut over the middle, beat the cornerback, beat the safety. We're going to hit him downfield, and he is just gone. He is long gone. There's just nobody who's going to catch up to Kevin White in the open field. This guy's got amazing speed. He's probably one of my favorite receivers, if not my favorite receiver at this point of the year. So I think, I think it's a great find that we're actually putting him back in the starting lineup. I feel kind of stupid now that we didn't have him in the starting lineup to begin with because he is just a dominant player. Um, so right here, we're going to drive downfield. I made the, what's it called, mercy roll, uh, I guess if that's what you want to call it, 40 points. So if we go up 40 to 0, we will actually just super sim the rest of the game. So right here, we're going to look over to the left side of the field, throw a nice little ball over here to Odell Beckham, who's going to move down to the opposing team's 41-yard line. So let's continue to move downfield here. We're going to continue to go with the passing game. We didn't have to run it all that often. Jamal Charles did a great job in the running game, but we just didn't need to rely on him that much because Ryan Mallett was really just doing it all from that quarterback position. And he's just doing... I don't know. It was making him, it was making me not even miss Jameis Winston because Ryan Mallett is performing so well. Um, so we're going to continue to look over the middle here. We're going to run out to the left side. Just watch this play. We're going to throw it straight to, to Ladarius Green and somehow the safety like teleported through his body. So that's going to be a 45-0 to zero score. And at that point, I felt so bad. I just super sim the rest of the game. And the final score ended up being 
45 to 10 it, it just wasn't even close we beat him in every single statistical category that was just kind of the definition of a blowout so we came out here we did exactly what we wanted to do ryan mallett's looking like he's actually good enough to be a starter even though james winston of course will be the starter when he gets back where i'm is doing a phenomenal job as you'll see a, a nice little look at his stats here with a 143 quarterback rating that's one of the best we've seen all year and so that's the end of this episode if you guys enjoyed it please click the like button below make sure to comment your opinion of the series and what i could do to make it more interesting in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe if you have not already to stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. 31 videos of consistent support from you guys. Let's push for the Super Bowl and let's win this bad boy. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.